information today on the San Diego woman who became the first person to be ticketed for driving while wearing the new technology Google Glass. Cecilia Abadie pleaded not guilty at traffic court today, which means she will head to trial. And 10 reporter Steve Fiorina explains why Abadie believes the law is on her side. Steve, she came here to traffic court with the idea that technologies outstrip the California vehicle code. You can have, you cannot have a television on your dash. You can't have a cell phone to your ear. She says, though, that Google Glass is different. It's difficult to tell if the Google Glass is actually operating. It's exactly like now. It's on, like the device is physically on, but it's not active and the screen is off. If I do either these or these, then it, you can see the screen light up a little bit. We tried to do a point of view shot, not easily shown on television. It's like seeing ghost riding in the corner of your line of sight. Cecilia Abadi was wearing the Google Glass when pulled over for speeding at I-15 near Arrow Drive in late October. Ticketed for speeding and driving with a monitor visible to the driver. She's fighting both tickets. Miss Abadi was driving. According to her, she was not watching the Google Glass, although she did have it on her face. Our defense is she wasn't driving with it on, but it did come on after she was contacted by the officer. She's one of the first in the country to test the Google Glass, which won't be in stores until next year. California law specifies the device has to be operating, so her court case could prove groundbreaking. We seem to have these old uh, laws that uh, are trying to be applied to new technology. When these laws were designed, this technology didn't exist. I believe there's a small chance that this technology might be helping to solve the problem with cell phones in cars. Now that will be far down the road, of course. As for the speeding aspect of this, that's not the big fight here. The trial is set for January. Live in Kearney Mesa, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.